three, two, <laughs> and one. Hey everyone and welcome to my brand new channel. I was a little hesitant to start this channel but I received such great feedback from you all on Michael's channel and I decided why not do my own thing here. As some of you already know, my name is Andriana or Andriana and I'm a board certified PA or physician assistant. If you follow me already, you know that I love all things beauty and fashion. I love working out, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, I love traveling with my husband especially. And I figured that this channel would be a place where I would combine all of the above and incorporate it into one. So you will see a little bit of medical, a little bit of my history with being a PA, a little bit of fashion, a little bit of beauty, and any videos that you specifically want me to do. I figured this first video would be what an aesthetic PA is, since that's what I currently do full time. A little background about me, I've been a PA for the past eight years specializing in general surgery, dermatology, and urgent care. Now I switch gears and I'm currently a full-time aesthetics PA. I love this field as it allows me to use my creative side and bring it to work. And I also help patients just feel great about themselves. Personally, if I look good, I feel good, and I think you just have a better outlook on life with that. So let's get into what I do as an aesthetics PA. First, what is an aesthetics PA? So an aesthetic PA is a PA that performs cosmetic treatments ranging from chemical peels, lasers, injectables such as Botox and dermal fillers, and in some practices they may do some PDO threads. Let's go into the most common thing that you hear when you think of aesthetics, Botox or any wrinkle reducer. What do we use Botox for? We use it to inject in certain areas of the face to help relax muscles to help with those fine lines. Three more common areas that we do are the forehead, in between the brows, and around the eyes or the crow's feet to relax those horizontal lines that we may have on the forehead or around the eyes or those dreaded 11 lines. Side note, I will go into detail on all these treatments on other videos, but I just kind of wanted to give you a broad overview on all these treatments. Next are dermal fillers. So with dermal fillers, they're all made of hyaluronic acid and we could use to either replace volume that we lost with the natural aging face, add volume to areas that we never had, such as enhancing our lips or our jawline, and also just to help with facial symmetry and balance. Common areas that we inject dermal fillers are in the cheek cheeks, the lips, the jawline, the chin, the temples, the under eye areas. These treatments are all reversible, so if you hated it, you could always reverse it. Next, let's get into the skin. With the skin, we do many different treatments ranging from chemical peels, lasers, microneedling, and aqua gold. We can address different skin conditions and concerns, whether that be acne, adult acne, acne scarring, hyperpigmentation or dark spots, sunspots, rosacea, redness from rosacea, telangiectasias, or if we wanna just correct our overall texture and tone. All these treatments are used to help correct all the conditions that I listed before. You could always, always, always come for a consultation with your aesthetic provider at any time. You don't have to do a treatment that day. It's great to actually have an actual consultation with your provider to see what's best for you, whether that be injectables or just putting yourself on a medical grade skincare regimen. In my personal practice, we don't prescribe any orals or topical medications. There are many aesthetic providers that do, whether they work in dermatology practice, in a plastic surgery office, in a med spa, they may be able to prescribe prescription medications for acne, hormone therapy, or anything that may help with achieving your aesthetic goal. I don't, um, when I do see a patient, I always refer them to the appropriate specialist. In my practice, no prescribing, but we can do treatments to help a specific condition like acne. So now I'll go through a day in a life of an aesthetics PA or specifically what I do. If you actually want a video of a day in the life of an aesthetics PA, comment below. Or if you want to know something more specific about what we do as aesthetic PAs or aesthetic providers, you can comment below as well. So my typical day. I work typically four to five days a week. I work every other Saturday. Sometimes I'll work more Saturdays 
Saturdays in one month if we have an event or if I'm just free that Saturday. Saturday is a great day to see patients. Some patients can get in on the normal work day, so you have to see patients on the weekend. I feel like if you're in medicine, you're always going to work a weekend. That's just the nature of the beast. If your practice or your hospital doesn't have to work weekends, then good for you. But for us, we do and we are very busy on the weekends. So typical day, I wake up in the morning, do whatever I have to do for myself, whether it's workout, have my coffee, make myself breakfast. When it comes to about like 9, 30, 10, I usually text any patients that I did dermal filler or any more downtime skin procedure on just to check in on them to see how they're doing, if they have any questions or concerns. After that, I'll skim through my day. We have our scheduling app that I look through all my patients just to have an idea of what I'm doing for the day. It also just prepares me to see what patients I'm going to be seeing if I have to move around different patients whether it be like oh this is gonna require a little bit more because we discuss X Y and Z so I'll always contact front of house staff just to kind of help me with working out on the schedule when I get into work we always have our face sheets on that tells us all of our patients and all the procedures slash treatments that they had done previously. I'll always look through them, we'll always jot down any notes that we have written in our previous notes, whether we have to increase a dose or we discuss X and Y treatment for today, and I'll always discuss with the patient what they wanna do. After I look through all my face sheets, I'll help the medical assistants prepare for the day, whether that's diluting Botox, whether that's organizing or setting up our trays. It's always great as a provider to be a team player. If you're not organized, you're gonna set yourself up for just falling behind. So it's great for you and your medical assistant and front of house staff to all work together. We have a great team environment where I work. The medical assistants know what I like, what I don't like, my usual or my, I should say, my go-to treatments or doses for certain patients. So it really is really helpful when you have a great back of house staff and front of house staff to really assist and make that day smooth. Throughout the day, if you know a patient has any questions or anything along those lines, the front of house staff will always contact me and and I will call them. We will do virtual consults, new consults with new patients, Botox, fillers, skin treatments, my day is usually a range of all of the treatments in one. Sometimes you'll have a day where it's mostly just skin treatments. Sometimes it'll be a day full of dermal filler or injectable treatments. It really just comes in waves. Typically start around 11, 12 o'clock and we end around 7, 7.30. Those are our typical hours. So for me, it works out great. In the morning, I have my own time to work out, meal prep for myself or for Michael, and just get myself ready, whether it's doing my hair because it takes forever to blow dry this damn main. Other than that, I personally enjoy this schedule with a 12 to seven schedule or 11 to seven, just to have your mornings free and just do what you wanna do for yourself in the morning. At the end of the day, I'll catch up on any notes that I have to do, help the staff clean up or take out garbages or whatever the case may be. Yes, you are a provider, but you will also help do whatever you need to, to help, like I said, be a team player. Just because you're a PA doesn't mean that you are excused from not picking up something from the floor, or cleaning the chairs, or whatever the case may be. So it's really a team effort, especially where I work. It's a small knit community, and you have to be a team player in this environment. After that, I'll head home, I'll have dinner, and I'll essentially wind down with my husband and begin the same routine the following day. Typically, weekends are shorter, so usually in the winter time, it will be like a 10 to 5 schedule or 10 to 4 schedule. Typically in New York, on the weekends, patients go to their summer homes, they vacation on the weekends, go out east. We have shorter hours, which is 10 to 3. So it's nice because you get to still enjoy the rest of your Saturday as well, and you don't really feel like you're working a full day. Okay, so this is just a quick rundown of what is an aesthetics PA, day in the life of an aesthetics PA. If you have any specific questions, questions or any specific videos that you want to see, please comment below. I will be doing a whole video on my previous background on how to become an aesthetics PA. Just give me some time as this is new to me. Otherwise, you can follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I do post some before and afters. I do post some helpful hints or some helpful tricks on skincare there. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave some comments below. Try not to be super negative and 
and mean. I really don't like those comments. I feel like no one does, but if it happens, it happens. What can you do? Otherwise, I will see you all on my next video. Bye.